it, so they stretch the margin out a bit. Doesn't a coach just love that when the sub comes on and does something like Lucas did a moment ago? Judd running hard, handball inside was terrific. Yaron. crown tonight. This is part two of round one. We're underway at the MCG on what is a glorious Thursday night. Judd running hard, handball inside was terrific. Yaron, 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 still Yaron. Cheeky little bounce, all well done. Runs towards goal, it's a chance, it's <laughs> as good as you'll ever see. Uh, it all happened pretty quickly, actually. Um, you know, it was, it was late in the last quarter. I remember grabbing the footy um, off Juddy because he was either going to run out of bounds or handball back to me. And you know, lucky he got the handball back to me. And, I remember seeing Ivan Marek on the mark and you know, I thought I thought myself that you know, I've pretty much got him for leg speed at this time and um, you know, lucky enough I got around, got around him um, and then you know, took a little sneaky bounce and then I think it was Steve Morris who came you know, from the front on and I thought, thought I said if I can just get around him I can you know, have a shot at goal and, and lucky enough I think he lost his footing a little bit and you know, obviously might have ran out of the bounce, I don't know, I was, you know, I was going full flight at that time and um, just remember the ball you know, going through goals and you know, I couldn't believe it myself. Oh, well done. Runs towards goal. It's a chance. It's <laughs> as good as you'll ever see. I was actually leading right towards him, had nobody on me within 20 metres and he went straight over my head. You know, took a few guys on, had a bounce, uh, balked another one, ran out of bounds, come back in and finished off with a goal. Kicked it over Eddie's head and went straight through. It's just an amazing goal, just showed how, um, you know, how ballistic he can be. He's, um, he's one of the most exciting players in the AFL when he, when he gets it together and he does things like that, just, just amaze you. Chris Yaron, uh, I mean, very impressive to, to get around two or three players on the boundary line and slot it was uh, at speed. That's, that's probably the most imp uh, impressive thing about that goal. <laughs> it's as good as you'll ever see. At the time, I remember thinking, how, the, how did we allow that to happen? And then I think when I watched it on replay later in that week, I thought there wasn't much more we could do. He's, he's, a, he's a star player when he's up and running like that. And uh, I'm pretty sure the ball was still in bounds. We were looking for a little bit of a cheeky out. But um, yeah, it was, it was certainly a, a sensational goal. Uh, it was a terrific goal. He, uh, he's a player that can make those sort of things happen. And the worst thing about it is he doesn't even look like he's going at, at top-notch speed, but he just keeps, keeps getting yardage. I can't remember who was chasing him that day or who he got around, but it was a... It was a brilliant bit of play that I'm looking to forget. Uh, it's just 100% deflating. Like when you hope that the ball's going to go out, and then it turns into a miracle play like that, they're just such a, a game flattener or a team flattener for sure. It's bunny like, isn't it? After I kicked the goal, a few high fives and. I got to the centre square and I was completely knackered from, you know, obviously I ran from the you know, half back line and, um, and I couldn't believe it really. Um, so I just ran straight off the bench. Um, obviously Rats was our coach at the time, he gave me a, you know, a pump up on the, on the bench which was good. That training he always takes blokes on and bounces in front of guys and, and tries to kick goals from the boundary so it's something that he always, always does at training and probably no surprise to see him do it on game day. Well, he's one of those blokes that he gets the ball in his hand, he actually has a laugh at you when he's running away from you, he's, he's just that quick that you know, he, he actually jokes with you at training, like he'll be running around bouncing the ball and you'll look back and he'll, he'll give you a bit of a smirk or come up and tap you on the bum and you know, try and catch me next time, that, that sort of attitude, so it's, it's pretty funny, yeah, he's quick. He just thinks it's one of the things he does, I think, he just, he, he just believes he just does those things every week, so it's just like another day for him, I think. He knew if the, uh, if the tackle had got to him, he had to just kick it quickly, but uh, backed his pace. He ran too far, got away with it, um, takes him on, yeah, like he always does. That's taken him on. Yeah. Look at the oh. ball. I think the ball is probably totally out of bounds. But... I think I was on the bench then, and um, I had a pretty good view of the boundary line, and I think he took the ball out, so I don't know, Yaz, I'm pretty sure there was a, it was a throw-up. As he went around to Var Marich, I, uh, I actually thought he was out, so I was 
looking around, setting up, trying to set up for where I was going to go. And then next minute, I just heard the crowd go nuts and saw Yaz running around with his finger in the air. So I actually didn't really see the actual goal until after the game and saw it. And it was, yeah, it was a great goal and deserved goal of the year for sure. I thought the ball went out and so a few of us gave up the ghost a little bit and then obviously the ball didn't go out or the umpire was blind, one of the two. But <laughs> If that boundary umpire was just in the right position, he probably would have saw that ball was out. But uh, it was probably one of, one of the best goals you've seen. Um, you know, one goal of the year um, in round one. Well, that's the clubhouse leader for goal of the year right there. And Yeah, I think he got goal of the year and uh, got a bit of cash on the good guys and, yeah, a little bit jealous, but good on him. So obviously, you know, a great award to win. Um, and something I look back on, and um, obviously I haven't had too many rewards over the years since my you know, six years at Carlton, so that'll certainly look, you know, one I'll cherish for the rest of my life, that's for sure. Didak been reported the smother by Benz, kept it alive, the impossible goal! Goal I've won goal of the year before against Collingwood, and we've always had, uh, me and Yaz always had each other, so who's, who kicked the best goal, and I've always said I've kicked the best goal, and. He's always saying he's kicked the best goal, but I would say it's uh, it's up there. So yeah, if you as you're watching, I would say your goal's up there. You know, no matter what you do, any player looks back on on what they've done over the years, and you know it happened two years ago now. So as if I wouldn't, you know, watch it. I wouldn't say I watch it over and over again, but I've had once, once or twice, or maybe three, four times. <laughs> Yaren, 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 still Yaren, cheeky little bounce, oh well done, runs towards goal, it's a chance, it's as good as you'll ever see.